Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I just got done recording my latest Space Engine Exploration. That will be up later today. But uh, I have a suggestion today from AAV once again. And he says, try deleting the sun and halt all velocities. Now my immediate assumption is it is going to immediately make everything start to gravitate towards Jupiter. But this is going to be a long process since Jupiter doesn't really have a large amount of gravity, I would say. It's not a very large mass. In fact, the sun is like a thousand Jupiters, if I'm correct. So, yeah, this might be a little bit interesting to see how fast things actually react. Of course, it's going to be kind of a time-lapse kind of thing, because it is going to take a while for things to actually fall towards the largest mass. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and clear out the asteroids. So let's go ahead and remove them. I'm going to leave the dwarf planets intact, though. So I'm just going to go to powers and go over and delete all particles and dust, leaving only the larger asteroids and dwarf planets. So there we go. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to slow down time a little bit. Actually, let's just go ahead and halt time completely. And let's go ahead and delete the sun now. Now we're going to immediately go to powers and halt all velocities. So there we go. Now, it's kind of just a waiting game. Let's see what happens. Now, we want to get a good view of this, so I think I'm going to go to Jupiter, since it's probably going to be the primary mass here. And we'll just kind of watch from this perspective right here. So, I don't think everything's going to exactly hit Jupiter. I think it's going to slingshot a lot of things out, and maybe even turn them into a moon. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's hit play. Okay, so I don't think a time lapse is really necessary. As you can see, it immediately flung out Mars and Earth. But Earth is curving around and so is Mars. Are they actually going to start orbiting around Jupiter? I don't know if they've actually achieved escape velocity or not. They might just be highly eccentric orbits. Oh yeah, that's what it appears to be. It looks like Mars has a highly eccentric orbit around Jupiter. But this might do it? No. Mars is... I guess technically a moon of Jupiter now. I don't think anything's actually collided into Jupiter as of yet. And as you can see, all the outer planets, they're going to take quite a while to actually fall towards the planet. What has happened to... Oh, Saturn's jumped in. Oh, look at that. I was about to say, Mars and Earth just went retrograde, but that was because Saturn decided to kind of interfere, interfere and... Uh, slingshot them in a completely different direction. Are these still orbiting around? I think Mars is still good. Earth, I don't know, it might have actually achieved escape velocity. Let's find out. Yeah, I think we have lost Earth. So it's gonna go off and freeze now. We still have Venus, it's just highly eccentric. Uranus looks like it's actually orbiting around Jupiter just fine. <laughs> Pretty interesting result there. Oh, nope, Earth is coming back. It's coming back with a vengeance, too. It's coming in very quickly. Oh, and look at that. Just kind of made an S pattern around uh, Jupiter there. And there's all the dwarf planets kind of falling in this direction. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I don't think we've actually had any collisions yet. I don't see fragments anywhere. Mars looks like it is now a successful moon of Jupiter. Venus is still highly eccentric, and Earth is still kind of doing its own thing. In fact, I think Earth is about to become a moon of Uranus. Interesting result, and it's kind of got a slightly polar orbit. Definitely a huge tilt to its orbit. But it's kind of following Uranus now. Hmm. Here comes Venus. And it's swooped around again. So hopefully these do stabilize to become kind of a system around Jupiter. Let's find out. I think Saturn is long gone. It's achieved escape velocity and it's out of here. Same with Mercury. Uh, I don't even know what's happened to Neptune. Ceres is long gone. Where's Neptune at? Oh, there's Neptune. And let's just speed up time a little bit more. By the way, we are currently moving at 75 years per second. And Neptune is coming in. And it doesn't look like it had any significant effect. It kind of curved the orbit around Jupiter a little bit. And I think we might actually get a slightly successful, probably not stable, orbit around Jupiter of all these planets. That's kind of what's going on right now. 
Mars is sitting there kind of content, but it's only a matter of time before Uranus or Neptune kind of slingshot it outwards too. But Venus is also orbiting, kind of stabilizing too. And we have all these dwarf planets just kind of doing their own thing. You can see Pluto up there. Makey Makey. There's Homea. And yeah. <laughs> They're all just kind of doing their own thing. They actually kind of look like the asteroids that already orbit around Jupiter as its moons. I think Uranus might have actually kind of stabilized. Except it did actually sing shot Mars out. I think these two larger gas giants are going to be the big problem when it comes to actually making a stable orbit here. But, very cool nonetheless. Not really too much destruction. Again, I don't think we've actually had any collisions. There is a lot of space between all of these orbits right now. But, it definitely made for something very beautiful. And look at the way Venus is actually spiraling around Jupiter right now. Very awesome. I think we might have lost Earth. Nope, there it is right there. That's the blue planet that just flew by. So Earth is still here, Mars is gone, we've lost Mercury, we've lost a few dwarf planets, and Saturn is long gone as well. I don't think anything is going to really uh, mess with Uranus at all. I think it is going to be kind of a either... You could probably call this a dual planetary system, but it's more of a moon of Jupiter right now. I think Uranus is actually going to stay stable. I don't think any of these smaller planets are going to really have a significant enough influence on its orbit to actually cause any instability. Unless, maybe, perhaps, Neptune comes back and messes everything up. We are now moving 1500 years per second. And I think if Earth actually stays out there, it might just be a stable orbit, unless it reaches an unfortunate collision. But here comes Neptune to stir things up again. Oh, and there goes Neptune once once more. Kind of did that back there at that point, too, where Venus is kind of stuck at. Looks like we left Venus behind. Earth is still stable, and Uranus is still stable. Except I think Neptune just pulled Earth a little bit out slightly farther, but it's still orbiting around Jupiter currently. Uh, let's go ahead and view the orbital maps. Whoa, that's a little bit crazy. Let's not do that. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the trails kind of say enough. Uranus has a very, very eccentric orbit around Jupiter right now. Earth is kind of spiraling around. Pretty stable, actually. It's not really too eccentric. It is kind of oval-shaped, but it's not that bad. And then Neptune, well, it has a very, very long kind of year cycle around Jupiter, but uh, occasionally it'll fly through and just stir things up and fling out a few things. I think we might have actually lost Neptune. Might just be going way further out, because as you can see, that was the previous interaction with Jupiter. There's the next one, and now it's just kind of making a long string. And I think we might have actually had a collision, because the simulation has slowed down significantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Powers and try to clear all dust and particles. And no, it must not be a collision, but for some reason, the simulation has slowed down quite a bit. Interesting. So, that's going to make it kind of difficult to time-lapse in any fashion. I think, uh, I think the game just completely went haywire and, went, like, became completely unstable. Not sure what's causing the performance issues. Other than, yeah, basically, I don't think anything's actually changed. I don't think there's any difference. Did Jupiter heat up or something? No, I'm not really too sure why uh, the performance has kind of degraded, but I think uh, at this point it's going to be kind of useless continuing this without a time lapse. So let's slow down time to try to get the physics engine to kind of catch up a little bit. So now we're moving at about 190 years per second, much slower than our 1500 from earlier. You know, I think we might have actually successfully lost Neptune. I think it is gone. I think it is no longer in the influence of Jupiter. So, I think that is what it's come down to. I think we have a 
unpredictable orbit of Earth around Jupiter and Uranus around Jupiter, and all these little dwarf planets. I don't think these dwarf planets are going to really interact with each other too much, and... Yeah, I think that is our new kind of system without a sun. And all the velocities halted. Of course, the result will be different every single time you do this test, since, uh... All the planets are going to be in a different position around the sun every time you do this, different alignments and all that kind of stuff. But this is my result for this video. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, uh, I stepped away after finishing this recording. And, uh, this one. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this dwarf planet is just going nuts around Jupiter once I got back. <laughs> uh, other than that, I don't know if we lost any other dwarf planets. No, it looks like it's stable. This is about uh, 20 minutes after I finished the last recording, I think. So, pretty cool. So we're slung out. I don't think those are coming back. Neither that, 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 or Eris. So I think these kind of, everything in this general section is all stable. Excluding Jupiter here, or not Jupiter, uh, Neptune here. But, yeah, I came back and, uh, wow, that is going quick. That dwarf planet there is just spiraling around Jupiter now like crazy. <laughs> anyway, see you guys.